Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dang, and I love these sunglasses, but they are really, really horrible to drive in, and I lost my other rainbow sunglasses, which kind of sucks. Anyways, uh, so today in this video, we are looking at the new Witch Doctor build for patch 2.4.2, and it is because of one single item that was changed that makes this build even much, much, much more stronger, and I actually really, really love this build itself, because uh, I've, been, I've been doing the whole Crusader thing, and running around, and timing things, and I'm just like, I'm done and through with it. Uh, this build allows you to pretty much sit back relax put on your dots and let everything just dies really quick really, really strong and powerful um, so if you want the shorter version of this video the link is in the description down below uh, whenever it comes up and also I'll put a link in diablofans.com if you want to upload that or look at it there it's, it'll be there for you and anyways um, so because of one single item, like I mentioned, it allows this build to be super strong. Um, and it synergizes with the other item as well. And all you do is just put on your haunt dots and just watch things die. Pretty much. Anyways, uh, enjoy the little clip and we'll see you soon. Uh, we'll do the whole, you know, um, gears, equipment, legendary gems. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Alright, so welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed that little clip because I really do enjoy this build. I mean, I really enjoy it. I mean, this is probably the first time I'm going to be playing a Witch Doctor in a seasonal game. Okay, so let's start off with our uh, stats priority first. So our main stats priority is going to be critical hit chance and critical damage as high as we can possibly have. And then we want area plus damage and cold plus damage elemental. And the rest are going to be pretty much whatever you can put into like uh, Wall of Dead or Piranha, Piranha or or like um, survivability ones like uh, all resist or regen or armor okay all right so for our gears uh, we're gonna be using the uh, hell tooth harness so the six piece set bonus uh, so we're gonna get all of them let's go that uh, so it hasn't really changed except one certain thing that's hiddenly changed in the PTR uh, but it's pretty much still the same so the two set piece bonus uh, enemies hit with your primary skill acid cloud fire bats zombie charge zombie dogs gargantuan grass of the dead piranhas or wall of dead are affected by necrosis becoming slowed, taking uh, 1,500 weapon damage every second and taking 20% increased damage from all sources for 10 seconds. And then um, number four is applying after applying necrosis to an enemy, you take 60% uh, reduced damage for 10 seconds. So GB. Uh, so it synergizes with each other. Uh, number six, after casting Wall of Dead. You Gain 1,400 increased damage for 15 seconds to your primary scales at six cloud, fire bats, zombie charge, zombie dogs, gargantuan, grass of the dead, piranhas, and wall of dead. So pretty much you want to cast wall of dead first before you uh, cast anything else. Um, you cast wall of dead first and then you cast piranhas and then you cast wall of dead and then you cast piranhas, you know, back and forth like that. So that way it just pretty much gets that buff from the six piece set bonus from wall of, uh, sorry, wall of dead. Um, so that's how you do that one. Uh, so next one is going to be the Traveler's Pledge and the Compass Rose for the Endless Walk set bonuses. Uh, so you know what this does, uh, whenever you're standing still you get increase in damage and then whenever you are moving you get decrease in damage, uh, sorry increase in damage reduction. Okay so that's how that works. Uh, now for our weapon we want to use the Sacred Harvester. Um, so instead of having only 5 stacks I believe 
only five stacks yeah five stacks it goes up to ten stacks instead so we want to use that one for our survivability then we want to use this really really cute oh my god I, re I, I really love this one um, I wish it was in World of Warcraft um, Hen Henry's pre uh, pre uh, Prequisition, pre, pre perquisition, perquisition, Henry's perquisition. Uh, so we don't use this one. Uh, so the first time an enemy deals damage to you, reduce the damage by X amount, so 60 to 80 percent, and charm the enemy for three seconds. So that is great right there for survivability. Okay, next one we have is the Lakumba's ornament. Lakumba's ornament. Oh, these fancy names. Uh, reduce all damage taken by 60% for each stack of Soul Harvester you have. So this one will synergize with this one that synergizes with the Soul Harvest right here. So those are pretty much for your survivability, okay? For Belt, we want to just use the Witching Hour for, to increase our hit critical hit damage, which is really great. And then the next one is the Short Man's Finger. Gargantuan instead of summons three Gargantuans, uh, each more powerful than before. So instead of having one, you have three, which is more powerful than before. Uh, for legendary gems, we have the boon of the uh, uh, trapped and the boon of the stricken right here to increase our, sorry, the bane of the trap, not the boon, the bane of the trap and the bane of the stricken uh, to increase our damage and kill the rift guardian faster. And then we have enforcer, which increases the damage of our pets by X amount to increase it. You level it. Uh, and your pets to take 9% uh, less damage. Alright, so for our normal gems, we want to use the crit gems for our, well, the green gem for our weapon. And then we want to use the topazes for our uh, other sockets. Um, and then uh, if you feel like you are dying faster than normal, go with the diamond gems instead. That's up to you. And lastly, for the helm, we want to use the uh, life increase uh, gem, the purple gems right there, okay? Let's head into the Kanai Cube, which is really easy. Uh, the Warm Warp right here, Locust Swarm continues plagues enemy around you. So it's you have an extra damage, but that's not really the reason why it's there. It's just there so that you it uh, boosts the power of the uh, Ring of Emptiness, which I'll show you in a minute. And then you have Mask of Jerem. Pets deal 100% increase in damage. So the next one is going to be the Ring of Emptiness right here. But I have to do an overlay because this is still on the live server, not the PTR server, which it went down for some reason. Anyways, uh, so overlay is your you deal 300% increased damage to enemies affected by both of your locust uh, like, uh, haunt and locust swarm. So when both of them are there, you get an increase in 300% damage. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's why the ring of emptiness, which is like one tiny item that was changed from from this whole thing, which makes this whole build much, 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 much better. Even when it wasn't uh, changed, it was still really good. Uh, but now since it was like increased by 300% damage, it makes it amazing. Uh, so that is your Kanai Cube. So for Paragon levels, we want to match with 25% increased movement speed. So right there, I have 1% because my ring and uh, boots gives me 24%. The rest will go into Intelligence right here. And then if you need Vitality, go for Vitality if you need to, but not really. Offensiveness, you want to have uh, Critical Chance, Critical Damage, Cooldown Reduction, and then Attack Speed. Um, defensiveness, Resist All Armor, Life Regen, and then Life. Utility is Area Damage, Life on Hit, then resource cost reduction and gold finest last which really doesn't really matter so now for our skills which is actually very simple and very easy uh, in my opinion anyways uh, so we have gargantuan right here with summon a gargantuan zombie to fight for you the gargantuan cleaves uh, multiple enemies for 585 weapon damage as cold so you want it actually on your left mouse clicker and then we want the soul harvest with languish feed on the life force of enemies within 18 yards gain 3% uh, intelligence for 30 seconds of each affected enemies this stacks up to 5 times um, so that's why we have the soul, uh, sacred uh, sacred soul harvester. So it stacks up to ten times instead of five times. Increase your armor by ten percent per harvested enemy and reduce their movement speed by eighty percent for ten seconds. This is a this is a really great uh, survivability uh, toughness type of skill right here. Then we have spirit walk, which pretty much for increase in movement speed and running through things like the Crusader's horse. Uh, then we have Piranha with Piranado, <laughs> Sharknado, Piranado. Uh, summon a, a tornado of piranhas that pulls monster in and suspend them in the air while dealing 200% weapon damage as poison over 4 seconds. Affected enemies will also take 15% increase in damage. So we want to use this as much as we, we can as possible. Uh, for how many seconds? Ah, oh, I guess for 4 seconds, whatever. Uh, summon and then we have Wall of Death. 
uh, with commuting with spirits. Summon a circle of spirits for 6 seconds and deals 1200 weapon damage as cold. Chills nearby enemies by 60% and reduce their damage dealt by 25% for 3 seconds. So these two are pretty much our damage dealer right here. And then we have Haunt which is also a damage dealer but not really well. We, we want to use Haunt because we want to synergize it with the uh, Locust Swarm and that why that's that boost because of those two it boosts the damage of everything else because of the ring of emptiness by 300 extra percent okay uh so haunt uh it just pretty much gives you your uh, life per hit increase so that's that's all that haunt does really i mean it does deal damage as far over 12 seconds but it, it's it's life per hit anyway so that is it for the skills let's head on to our passives uh the gravel injustice so gain one percent of your maximum life and mana and reduce the cooldown of all your skills by one percent when an enemy dies within 20 yards so that's why you don't really care about cooldown reduction that much so whenever an enemy dies it just pretty much reduces the cooldown of all of these by one second every one of them by one second um, the next is confidence ritual uh, you deal 21% additional damage to enemies within 20 yards our cheat death skill right here with spirit vessel and midnight feast uh, the damage of your zombie dogs and gargantuas increased by 50% additionally that next one doesn't really matter so that's it for our skills and passive skills alright so for our followers I usually use the Templar uh, just so that he can help me survive a little bit more and also increase in my mana regeneration uh, so what you want to do is you want to have his immortal relic thunder fury and usually uh, the oculus ring right here to increase damage if things are within its circle and usually it's the wayward uh, ring but not the hellfire ring I don't have it I apparently vendored it and then we have the S of Johan to pull everything together for his skills you have heal uh, loyalty charge and then inspire to increase our mana regeneration 7 per second to so help us haunt a lot more uh, but not really so if you don't want to use that you can use guardian now, if you're okay with uh, not using the Templar, you can actually use the Scoundrel to increase in your critical hit chance, which is actually much, much more important. Uh, that is up to you in your discrepancy if you want to have the critical hit chance or a little bit more survivability. Alright, so how to play this is actually pretty easy. Summon your Gargantuan first. Uh, harvest, 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 harvest. Make sure you are in range so that your Locust Swarm is uh, affecting everything else. And so harvest if you need to. Actually, you should so harvest and refresh all the time. And just uh, let everything die. That's pretty much it. Don't die, though. Don't die. Don't die, Thang. Because you always end up dying when you're doing these things. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it how you play. See, everything just pretty much dies. Of course, this is this is in the live server where the ring hasn't been changed yet. But on the PTAR, it's everything just pretty much easily dies so quick. Let's hope harvest. That's it. That's it. That's how you play it. And I actually really enjoy it on the PTR. Um, it was actually really fun, really easily. And hopefully you guys will enjoy this one too. Because um, I honestly, I think I will go Witch Doctor this season around. And have fun with Witch Doctor. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. I'll vote it on DiabloFans.com. I'll leave the link when it's uh, time for me to leave the link in there. And if you want a short version, it'll be in the description down below. Thank you again. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. And don't forget to press subscribe for future content. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Love ya.